What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Stadium 2 walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, yeah, <laughs> we got pushed to the brink of uh, elimination right there. That would have looked bad on me. Yeah. But we made it, we won, and we used Pokemon from other generations, like in Heart Gold and all that stuff. And now, it is finally time for us to go against Morty, and in this one, I'm thinking of using some uh, Pokemon from the Kanto region. So, let's go right ahead and take on Morty. As you can see, he does have a medium, a sage, and Morty himself. And when there's a medium, there's a ghost type Pokemon somewhere. So, let's go right ahead and choose some Pokemon from Pokemon Yellow. Now... Obviously Ultra Psycho, I'm going to be using this guy like nobody's business. And you know what? Let's go ahead and give him some items right here. Now, let's see. Well, it doesn't have any kind of stuff right here in Pokemon Yellow. The only thing I can give him is a Leftovers. And then, let's see. The sucky part about this is that you can't use both teams. You can't, you can't at all. So what we're going to do right here is we're going to just have to go uh, outside the box right here and uh, use Pokemon that we've you know we've been comfortable using including ghost type pokemon that you know or pokemon that can defeat ghost type pokemon right here so let's go right ahead and put in some of the old guys right here and uh, see what they can do right here so let's see ghost types are also weak against psychic types i could use mu de uno but i kind of don't want to let's see what does Aaliyah have right here Aaliyah does have the same moves as uh sparky right here can i and i kind of don't want to use sparky right now and, well, we got Hydra number one. Hydra number one does have some moves that I could use for it. And, uh, let's see. Let's see. Dragonite, if you guys don't remember, we've actually used this guy in the uh, fourth episode. Or, no, sixth episode against Sabrina. Don't necessarily need it right here. Leonardo as well. So, those are two Pokemon that I kind of don't want to use right now. So, let's go ahead and uh, keep on looking now. Tank tank right here we can actually use the surf attack the only problem is is its speed what does tank 2 hold for us and that is the same kind of thing let's see hold on where's where's tank all right there it is tank number one does have side wave and it can't that's the only thing it can use its special attack is not there so it looks like to me we're going to be using tank 2 in yellow version and well let's see Powers up normal type moves, lowers... Let's go with this one right here. Now, Execumon is a Pokemon that I kind of want to use right here. Although, it doesn't have Psychic type moves. Uh, let's see. Psychic type moves... Or nothing. But it does have, uh... It does have Solar Beam, which is its only move. I can't really use them. So, we're gonna have to go elsewhere right here. And we're gonna use our good old buddy, Thrasher. And Thrasher is going to use this Bright Powder just to, you know, evade any kind of attacks right here. So we have a Psychic, Normal, uh, Fire and Flying, let's see, Ground and Poison, and, well, of course, Water and Flying. So the next thing we can actually use, let's see what Smasher has. Smasher does have, uh, let's see, Special Attack is, n well, let's go ahead and take a look at this guy right here. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look. Okay, so Smasher, or Thrasher is a little bit more better at the special attack. So, let's go ahead and use this guy. And, let's see. To me, it looks like... Let's see what Muta Uno has. Muta Uno does have a few moves that I could use. Special attack is right there. New. No. Okay, so this is, this is like me actually pondering, guys. And, well, we could always use Dragonite. It is fast. Hmm. Yeah, but it's move it only has one good move. And, well, we got Sparky right here. And it's a hell of a special attacker. I don't necessarily think it's going to be... We're going to use him. So let's go see what Aaliyah has. And Aaliyah is weaker than Sparky. But we could actually use that light screen covered. So let's go ahead and give it a light ball. Let's go ahead and do this. It's a risk, but we're willing to take it. So here we go, going up against the medium. Hmm, I can see your future. And a type of Pokemon, what the hell? I don't know what the, I don't know what that fourth Pokemon is, but let's see. Oh, she's got a Ditto, okay, so. 
I think I can manage this, okay? I can manage this one right here. Unless I could trick her. So what's going to happen right now is let's go. Okay, so this this could be any possibilities because we could face that ditto and we could trick it. Let's see. There's no need for Ultra Cycle right now. So let's go with a gut instinct right here. Let's go with Godzilla. And let's go with um, Aaliyah. And just for just for the hell of it, let's go right ahead and use Ultra Psycho. Just for backup right now, okay? Now, mind you, these Pokemon ha have only have Generation 1 moves. So if you guys are seeing, like, stuff that are, like, you know, not Ice Punch or anything like that, well, that's the reason why. So here we go, Godzilla ready to go in battle. And this one is going to be... Please let me get it up. Please, please, please. And no, it is a Hoot Hoot, so... Okay, so this one right here is going to be an interesting battle. I might as well just the use flamethrower all the way. Fry this bird right here. Now I was thinking that I was thinking this medium was going to use a uh, a ditto just to just to transform into Godzilla. That way I could switch it out. But looks like to me she just has some regular Pokemon, basic Pokemon, and yeah, my attack has fallen. The good thing is that. This guy is does have a special attack right here, so we could beat this guy in a good hit right here. Flamethrower for the win. Say goodbye to Hoot Hoot. Hoot Hoot defeated. And she's like, yeah. Now, I was actually thinking that she was going to be using actual ghost types. And if you guys remember, in Generation 2... In Generation 2, uh, the only ghost type that makes the list is Mischievous, and I think we're going to have to face that when we go up against Morty or any of these other trainers right here. And here we go, critical hit. Now, that would have done a lot more damage if we hadn't lost our uh, our attack right there. So here comes hidden, hidden Power, and that right there wasn't, yeah, it wasn't even powerful at all. Believe it or not, Hidden Power depends on a whole bunch of mathematical equations right here, which I will not get into. And that right there, not strong enough. Now, <laughs> this could have been like Pokemon Stadium right here, where every hit is a critical hit, and it's not. So here we go. Let's go with the Slash Attack. And Slash Attack does it, right? Oh, survives. Onium. That's a pretty good nickname right there. Onium. And I'm assuming that that move is a grass type move because it's not effective at all. So let's go right ahead one more time with a slash attack. And slash attack does its thing. It's a critical hit. Say goodbye to Onium. And that is number two. So who's number three going to be? Who is it going to be now? We don't have any dark type Pokemon. We could have used a dark type Pokemon. I just realized then. Wow, she picked the worst, worst Pokemon to go up against us. Because, uh, yeah, this is a sweep right here. Flamethrower attack for the win. Oh, man, she's going to get burned. Burn, baby, burn. And there goes Sproutium. Wow. Okay, so there we go. Throwing out that peace sign. Yeah, Godzilla, Godzilla doing his thing. Kicking butt, taking names, and everything else in between, and yeah, not a lot of HP yeah, got taken. So that is round number one, and she's like, I'm exhausted. Body and soul. Okay, so who is next? Like Goldbert said, who's next? We're gonna be going up against, uh, what was it, medium? Is it a medium? I could be wrong. No, it's not a medium, it's a, what was it? Greetings! How good of you to come. Shall we get started? It's a sage. Yes, it's a sage. Okay, sage tie. And he does have an interesting bunch right here. Ironically enough, most of them are weak against uh, psychic type Pokemon. Okay, so let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I have a feeling. I have a feeling that he's going to be using one of those Golbat or one of the Golbat lines. So let's do this. Let's do this. Let's go right ahead and uh, take your business night. Let's go ahead and take care of business like this, okay? I am confident in my pickings. Please, baby Arceus, help us out right here. So, here we go. Our first challenger, and here it is, Aaliyah. Looking all mean and everything, and thanks to that light ball, it actually boosts up its attack. And yes, I was correct. She was, or he was going to be using a Zubat right here. So, let's go right ahead and start destroying people. 
And look at that. We're fast enough. Aaliyah is about to get her first win right here. Look at this. And that takes care of that right there. Say goodbye to Zubat. It's about dang time that Aaliyah finally got her first win in Pokemon Stadium. And, you know, you struggling just a little bit. And here comes the next Pokemon, and it's a Haunter. This one's going to be a little bit difficult because, yes, Haunter is Haunter. And, yeah, and here comes a mean look. So, unless we defeat this guy, we cannot escape now. So, here we go. Thunder attack. And it is paralyzed. So now, we've done some damage. Let's go ahead and finish this guy off with a Thunderbolt. Let's go, Aaliyah. Use that light ball to your advantage right here. Yeah, buddy. And, yes, we hit the weakness point. Haunter has been defeated. Yes, sir. Look at that. Alright, so who's next? Just like Goldbrick says, who's next? And this Pokemon is a Sloochum. And I do think it's just a Psychic type Pokemon right now as a baby, but I could be wrong. And here we go. Let's get this Thunder right away. Finish it. And there goes Smoochum. And here comes another mean look. So this guy is literally trying not to get us to escape. So it's no biggie. No problem. Aaliyah is going to sweep this whole team right here. Look at that. Aaliyah is sweeping for the first time in Pokemon Stadium. She should be happy. My niece right now in Hawaii, which is pretty cool. But she's watching my walkthrough videos right here. So baby girl, look at that. You're winning. And there we go, guys. We have defeated his team. Clean Aaliyah sw a sweep. Look at that. Oh my god, Aaliyah just destroyed his team right there. No mercy. And well, look, those are the two other Pokemon I've used. And he's just like, I'm grateful for this. Okay, so that is two down. And now it's time for Morty. Okay. Bring him. Feed me more. Here we go, Morty the gym leader. And he's like, you can bear witness to the fruits of my training. Okay, whatever you say, homeboy. And of course, he does have a nice variety. And, uh, well, he only has one ghost type Pokemon. One ghost type Pokemon. The majority of these Pokemon right here are weak to something. Oh, yeah, I think I just found the weakness. Okay, so we're gonna start off like this. Oh, yes. And, let's see. Who do I want to beat? Let's see. Uh, you know what? This might be a gamble here too, but I think that might be the case right here. So here we go, a last battle in the, the Equity City Gym, and it's against Morty. And here we're going to be starting out with Hydra number one. And here he comes out with his Pokemon, a Giraffe Rig. Both a Psychic and a normal type Pokemon. At first of its typing right here. So let's go right ahead and finish this guy off with a Hyper Beam. And crap baskets. We. <laughs> wow, no. And. Oh my god, that would have been bad. Okay, so here we go. Hyper Beam. And wow. We. 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 Oh crap, crap. Okay, so. Let's see. Yeah, we're gonna have to switch out right here. Let's go with tank. Mainly because it can tank it out. We do. We cannot afford to lose Hydra right here since Giraffic does know Thunder. And, uh, of course, tank number two does have oh, it does have a lot of HP, so it will not get taken out just like that. So here we go, What's Thunder this? Attack, and it hits tank, but guess what? Just like its name, he tanks it out, so alrighty. We are going to destroy this guy right here. So here comes a side beam attack, and it looks like its tail is the one doing all the damage right here, but guess what? Here comes Seismic Toss. And that takes a nice chunk right there. So we're basically like evened out. I guess I should be using more of its uh, body then. So here comes Psybeam Attack. Look at that tail. First hand look at uh, a tail actually attacking you, not Giraffe Rig itself. And there we go. It is paralyzed. So now this gives us a little bit of an advantage. And it, well, wow, it had a paralyzed cure, so we we got an we got an advantage right here, just a little bit of an advantage. Is that that is HP? So here he goes with the side beam, not so much. So here we go, body slam. Let's get it, body slam for the win. Eat it. 
Knockdown. Okay, alrighty. So we're kicking butt. We are kicking butt right here. And I'm just grabbing a, a charger. So who is next right here? I want the next challenger. And the next challenger happens to be Ariodos. And we prepared well for this Pokemon right here, so let's see. Let's go with the Body Slam, just to paralyze this guy. I know that Sludge Bomb and, you know, this Pokemon's going to be a little faster than me, but... Oh, wow. It was a critical hit. Never mind. Never freaking mind. There goes Tank. He served his purpose against uh, Girafric. That probably would have been the worst, the worst matchup. And so, let's go right ahead and use Hydra now. And that's the main reason to why I brought him out here because, well, the majority of his Pokemon are weak against some of his attacks right here, so this could actually help us out. Let's go. Ice Beam attack. And we are faster, so here we go. Hydra number one. Ice Beam attack. And that, wow, does not do a lot. And here comes a Sludge Bomb. Good gravy. Okay, so we are poisoned now, and that... Wow, that takes a huge chunk. So, screw it. Let's do it. Hyper Beam. We are faster. Let's go. Come on. Finish it. And there we go. Direct hit. And crap, it doesn't... This Pokemon is not going to die quickly. And, oh crap, oh crap. So we're going to... Yeah, we're definitely going to pay for this one. We're going to... Oh, crap. Okay, so that is it. We got a berry. That doesn't do much to us. And... Oh, fartsicle. Fartsicle. Oh, crap. Okay, so... There goes that poison. Here comes that sludge bomb. Oh, gravy. Okay, so we... Oh, God. We are getting our butts kicked right here. And I am scared of the next Pokemon that we're going to be facing if we beat Ariodos. So let's go with Ultra Psycho right here. Let's go. Come on, Ultra Psycho. Do me the favor and destroy him. Now, he is weak against bug types. This guy does not have any kind of bug type moves yet, just yet that we have seen. So we are faster. We're going to hit this guy harder. Let's go. And it's super effective. How is Ariodos... How does a nice type attack not affect Ariodos if it's a bug type too? I just want to know. And here he comes out with his last Pokemon. It is Gengar. So right here, I believe we have won this game because, well, that's right. Gengar is a little bit weak to psychic type Pokemon moves since it is a poison type. And here we go. Super effective. Say goodbye to Gengar. Throwing out that peace sign. Down to the wire yet again. And we win. And Morty's not too happy about that. Look at that. And just like that, Ultra Psycho has won us another match right here. And uh, another badge, I should say. Yeah, another badge. Look at that. Man, down to the wire. I, I picked the right Pokemon for this, but it's just like, now it's time for us to change these moves. He's like, that's good. Pokemon look, look good and all that stuff. So here it is, guys. We won the Ecritic City Gym. And, well... This opens up the next one, and that is Chuck's Gym, which is a fighting-type gym. So, let's see. As I'm recording this, I have just finished up the sixth gym battle, okay? We are here in the fifth one for Pokemon Stadium 2. Now, sixth gym battle in, in Stadium 1, that's what I was saying. So what's going to happen now is there's going to be a lot of, tra a lot of trading, a lot of flip-flopping and all that stuff. There's going to be a lot of moves changed. Uh, to help us out because the one thing that I've noticed about all the Pokemon that I've been using is that there are some moves that I have well there are some moves on them that really don't fit them and it's going to be our downfall if we don't have a specific move for the gym battles right here so what's going to happen is there's gonna be a lot of flip-flopping of moves and all that crud so hopefully hopefully just hopefully we get our crap together and all that stuff so yes off screen there will be a lot of trading and a lot of changing of moves and then uh yeah well hopefully we we end up winning the whole thing so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys in the next episode see you guys